Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to hand knit this uh, blanket here with the big jumbo number seven yarn. It's not hard at all. It actually goes pretty quick. Um, now mine measures approximately 36 by 50. But of course you can make yours as big as you want. It's not hard to make it bigger. That's about what it looks like. I'm not the best at, at hand knitting, but it didn't turn out too bad. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I use Loops and Threads Free Spirit Ombre Yarn. Now this is, came from Michaels. It is a super, or a jumbo number seven. Right there. And it is uh, 60 polyester, 20 acrylic, 20 wool. Now you do not have to use this yarn. Any jumbo number seven will work, but some jumbo number sevens are thicker than others. So to achieve the same size as mine, if you happen to get a jumbo number seven that's, that's a little thinner than mine, you might have to chain more to get the right length. Or if it's bigger than mine, you might have to chain less. Just, but it's really easy. I mean, there's no certain number that you, you know, multiple or anything. So any no, jumbo and number seven, and there are 40, and a half yards in this skein and I went through almost all of four so about 160 yards of jumbo number seven um, of this brand remember though some are bigger than others some are thinner so if you happen to get one that's a little thinner you might need more or one that's a little thicker it could take less but this is about an average size jumbo number seven here I think and then no hook we're just going to use our hands so I'm going to show you on a smaller scale, because there's no way I could have did that big blanket on camera because it's too big. So what we want to do is we want to start our first row with a slip knot. And I always leave a little bit for a tail so we can tuck it in at the end. Like that. Now, you want the, best, the biggest part, I think, I had the most trouble with, actually, is keeping my loops the same size. So, that's kind of what you got to aim for. Mine are really not at all the same size. I'm not very good at, I, I can't knit at all. And hand knitting, I'm not even that good at. So, <laughs> I'm much better with the crochet hook. But I think my mom will like the blanket anyways. So, once you got your, um, I got about two and a half, half three inch uh, loop here. So you just want to chain, a normal chain here, and you want to try to keep your loops the same size if you can. Now I did a chain of 22 for my blanket and to achieve my size with this yarn. Now you can chain as many as you want to get the size that you want. You just keep chaining until you get the size that you want. There's no way I could do the big chain and have it here up on my desk. But remember, I did 22. You do as many as you want to get to get the width that you want your blanket to be. Now what I'm going to do, once you get your chain made, um, remember, just try to keep your chains about two and a half to three inches. I'm going to flip my chain over. And now I'm going to be working in this, like, one single loop here that's on the back of the chain. This little bump here. I'm going to be working in that. So what I want to do is... Pull this loop and leave it about two, two and a half, three inches. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go through this little loop here. And I'm going to pull my yarn through. And I'm going to make my loop about the same size as this one here. This one just hangs off to the side. Just leave it there hanging. And then I'm going to go to my next loop here. Right here. That little bump on the back. And I'm going to go through like this. And pull through and I'm gonna to try to get my chains the about the same size two and a half three inches you, of course if you want yours if you have a little bit thinner of a yarn you might want to make your loops smaller that's fine it doesn't matter how big you make your loops just make sure that they're all equal but I'm doing mine about two and a half to three inches like that trying to keep them that way anyways going through this little bump on the bottom once you get this first row down the rest is a breeze You want to do this all the way to the end. 
Okay, I got one more here to go through. There we go. So there's mine. Okay, there, I've made it to the end. Now what I wanna do now is we're gonna go back around the loops the opposite side. So I'm gonna leave this last one here and let it hang off kinda like I did over here. So I'm gonna go up to the next loop right here and pull my yarn through like that about two and a half to three inches just kind of make sure your loops are all the same and make sure you don't twist your loops either like you don't want to go through like that way make sure they're out straight like this when you pull through your next one like that and the next one and we just work across doing this whole time sometimes you pull through and it pulls your other loop out so Don't worry, once you get the hang of it, you'll fly through it. It just takes a minute to get it. Get your, uh, get in mode here, I guess. And then we're at the end here. Here's my loop that I left hanging off to the side. Go right through that, like that. And leave that hanging off to the side because that forms our side, um, chains up the side. And then we start again with this loop, pulling through. I'm leaving the loops, trying to get them about the same size, like this. And this is what we're going to do, back and forth, back and forth, until we get it as tall as we want it to be. Make it to the end here. You got this loop here. Make sure you go through it. Pull up. That's going to form your side on this side, and then you go back across again. See, it's not hard. I did have to pull mine out a few times because my, I had trouble getting my loops the same size at first. But then I got it, I got it down and started to look a little bit better. Mine's in, by no means... Very, looks the greatest, but it's handmade. Not going to be perfect. And when you get to the end here, you see your loop hanging way down here. It's going to look like it's way down here. It's supposed to look like that. Go ahead and go through it. Because that's what forms your side. There you go. And pull that one up. Leave it hanging to the side. And then we go across it again. And I went ahead and worked mine until... I reached about 49 inches. And you can do yours however big you want. You just continue like this. There's my side way down here. Go ahead and walk through that. And across again. And then I'll show you how to finish it once you get your uh, height that you want. The smaller your loops are, the tighter together your, your uh, stitches will be. But you don't want to get them extremely tight because then your plank would be like real stiff. So that's why I left mine a little bit loose. But like that okay now you just continue this until you get it as tall as you want it to be like I said I did about 49 inches on mine like this okay now I'm coming to the end I'm gonna go through this it's down here that's hanging this is my last row I've reached 49 inches we'll just say okay now I want to finish it off so what I want to do is I want to grab this loop and this loop this is your finishing edge and I want to take my yarn and pull through both loops like that okay with this one I'm gonna grab the next loop put them both together grab my yarn and pull through both loops like that keep this one on my finger grab my next loop put it on my finger Take my yarn and pull through both loops. 
leave this one on my finger, grab my next loop, and pull through both loops. And you just do this until you get to the end. Like that. Grab my next one. Put them both on your fingers like that and pull through both loops. And that's what your top will look like. A nice clean chain there at the top. Now we can clip off, leave that big loop up there. Enough tail there that you can hide. And you just pull it through and make a little bit of a knot like that. So that will finish the blanket. Super easy to do. Here's my miniature. I could use it for a, I don't know what I could use that for. My little kitten can lay on this, I guess. <laughs> okay, now to hide your tails. Um, uh, you can use your fingers or you can use, I'm just going to use like a bigger crochet hook. And I kind of just weave them in back and forth gently and just hide them under the stitches. Here, let's use my finger. Pull them through like that. And then once you get it all weaved in, just clip any excess that won't weave. And then you'll be done. You want to do that to all your tails. Now, and this is what the back looks like. I think the back's pretty cool looking myself. Okay, now I'm going to show you, I undid that top here. I'm going to show you how to add another skein of yarn. So what I do is, when I'm getting ready to come to the end, I just put a knot in mine. I don't know if that's correct, but it works for me when I make these type of blankets. I just take it, and then I tie a knot, but I leave some tails there that I can that I can um, weave in later and clip off and then I'll just continue with my project like normal and there'll be that knot on the back but you can maneuver it in and your tails at the end once you get done that's how I tie a new skin on you if you know a better way that's fine you can let me know in the comments too if you know a better way than that but that's how I kind of always done um, these type of blankets But that's it. I showed you how to do the hand knit, how to tie it off, how to add a new skein. Now it's your turn. Now remember, if you make this, I'd really, really love to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. I'd really love to see it. I like to see everybody's big chunky blankets. They're really cool when they're hand knitted like this. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram too. If you're not following me on there, you can ha come hang out with me on there. I post different things on there. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you're able to follow along okay. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Don't worry. Like I said, the first row and then getting it, um, your loops. Getting in a rhythm and getting your loops even is probably the hardest part. After that, it's a breeze that won't take no time at all. You'll be done and you'll have a nice, thick, heavy, warm blanket. That's it. There it is. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. That way you don't miss any of my videos. And until next time, have a good day.